So a while back, I did a review video of the Unify access points, specifically the long range model and also the pro model. What I have today is I have, I want to expand my network and I have the light version of this. The difference between the light versus the Pro and the LR is it's slightly smaller. It doesn't have as much power on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Um, it has the same power on the 5 gigahertz band as the, as the LR and the Pro. This is just like the LR version, except for the size of it smaller, that this is meant for indoor use, whereas the Pro version can be used outside as long as it's in a, a covered area, but it is meant to be used outside. So I have been using the LR version for quite some time now, since however long ago I did the other uh, review video. I have not had to touch that access point since I've installed it. The Wi-Fi signal has been rock solid. However, out in my garage, I've since done some renos on it. And because I've added more insulation, uh, I'm not getting as much of a Wi-Fi signal. Now, the reason why I originally went with Unify is because this house has is quite old and it has lats and plaster in it. And plaster just kills Wi-Fi signals like you wouldn't believe. It's like concrete almost. And because I was having that issue, I figured a friend of mine recommended this to me. The, uh, the Unify access point. I installed one, the LR, it's been working flawless, like I said. Now, because I've had this problem getting Wi-Fi in the garage, I figured what these access points can do, these are enterprise level or commercial level access points. They're not like your, your typical um, routers that you can pick up, I shouldn't say routers, access points, because a lot of times people confuse router and access points because routers can have access points built into them or Wi-Fi. Anyways, um, you can expand this network so that it has a single SSID and an SSID for what some of you guys might not know is basically it's your network name. We'll just call it a network name for all intents and purposes. I'm not a network admin or a network engineer, but as far as I can understand, that's basically what it is. So what that allows you to do is you give this the same SSID as any other ones that you've installed on your network, especially for my case, I only have one. So what that means with having one SSID is you can just have your device connect to the one that has the strongest signal, but it'll all be on the same network ID, which is awesome. That just saves so many headaches. But that's not to confuse this with a Wi-Fi mesh solution. So what a mesh solution is, is that these are all gonna be hardwired into my, into my switch. So you, that's very important. Whereas a mesh solution is one access point will be connected to your network. And then the other access points that you'll place around your house, um, as long as they're not too far away from the original one, is that it will kind of boost the signal. So you'll create a mesh around your house. So you'll blanket your house in Wi-Fi. Whereas this solution's better because that's at the mercy of, you know, you could have signal loss between access points. You're not gonna have that issue here, um, unless you're running a really power microwave oven or something if you're on the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, what'll happen is it'll connect to the one with the most, uh, with the best signal. And that's the benefit of this, that each one of these will have, be hardwired, but to one SSID. I'll talk real quick, some of the differences between the light and the long range and the pro version is the pro version, as I mentioned before, is it's weathered sealed. The long range version, I think the antennas are slightly different to give longer range. I'm not quite sure how that works. And then the light version is a little bit smaller. I think the range is a little bit shorter. And as I mentioned, um, it's got it's on the 2.4 gigahertz, it's 300 megabits per second. Whereas on the five gigahertz band, it's 867 megabits per second, the same as the LR version. Whereas the Pro version is 1300 megabits per second on the five gigahertz band. The other thing about these devices, what makes them really easy to install is that they support power over ethernet. You just need to make sure that your wiring will handle power over ethernet. You want solid copper wiring in order to utilize the power over ethernet in these systems. It comes with a power over ethernet injector. So enough of me blattering on about how much I like this and the differences between some of the models. Let's install this. It's super easy. Uh, I'll unbox it, show you what's in the box, but 
basically to access point power over ethernet, maybe a manual a mounting kit. That's it. So this is smaller than my LR. This is the light version, as I mentioned. It's pretty cool looking. It's very nondescript. When you mount it up on a ceiling or on the wall, it looks nice. It just kind of blends in. There's no weird antennas on it or anything like that. It doesn't look like some of those crazy D-Link or uh, Linksys routers that have like a gazillion antennas on it as a mounting plate. And then it has this special mounting plate here that you can lock it as well. So you can lock it in place here. And then you need a little key to push in on it right here to unlock it so no one can mess with this once it's mounted. Mounting screws, power cord for the power over ethernet, and then the power over ethernet injector. And what this does is this supplies power across your Cat5e or Cat6. So you would plug this in and then you would inject the power. So you would plug in, this goes between your switch and this. So you'd have one wire coming from your switch into this, yeah, like here in the LAN, and then the power over ethernet would come out and go to that, I believe. Could be vice versa, but regardless, it's in the manual. I have to look at it again. Some mounting screws and that's it. A little manual to get you started. So let's install this thing. The home of this access point is going to be in the corner of the house here where the entertainment center is, where I actually have a network connection that I can plug this into. I already got the power over ethernet injected into this. Where my patch panel is, I can't really get a camera in there to show you. It's kind of a mess. So I figured I would just plug it in and just show you guys. So there, I got that plugged in. Once it's powered up, there's a white light. Now it's time to add it. So I'm gonna go in and launch the Unify app. And it's already picked up the access point because I already have an existing one on the network. So if you don't have one, you would go up to add controller and you would add it. And then there's a QR code that you can scan on the back of, of the access point right here. And you would just scan that and then it would show up. You can also provision the access point by installing the software on the computer. And you can do it that way as well. But for now, I'm just going to do the installation from here and just set it up. And it's really easy. I'm just going to give it the same SSID as the uh, long range one that I have up here. I've called it Max Power Unify and I've called both of them two different names, but you can give them the same name and they'll jump between the 2.5 and the 5 gigahertz. I should say the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz, but uh, I chose to keep them separate. But I'm going to give them the exact same name on the light version. If you hear some munching, that's because the cat's eating right next to me. Now the access point's active. Now instead of a white light, it shows a nice blue light. Hopefully it shows up on the camera. So it lights blue. So now it'll just sit there and provide some good Wi-Fi coverage. So just to show you how well the seamless handoff works, I am right now connected to the, this access point right here. And that's denoted by we can get in focus here, C1. And then the other one is denoted by F9, which is the new access point that I installed, the light one. So as we start walking away from this access point and the signal gets weaker, it will automatically switch over to this one, 
over here, ending in F9. So this one's C1 that we're connected to now, and this is F9. And I'm just using uh, a free Wi-Fi scanner that I grabbed off the Google Play Store. So start walking. So it's still connected to C1. Still connected to C1. There, it switched F9. Just as I was starting to head outside, it switched over to F9 because the signal is stronger on the new one um, instead of the previous one. So there you go, seamless handoff. Same SSID, all on the same Wi-Fi network. I really like these Ubiquiti Unify access points. They're awesome, they work really well. So I'll put links in the description below to the access points. Thanks so much for watching, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video.